and remember and create a memory, not just of where that stream is, but the process of, oh, when I feel that agitation, uh -huh. I'm going to get up and go down this particular path. Right. And so people think of the dopamine system as this kind of like catch all for reward. Oh, you get likes on Instagram and it makes you feel good. That's not really how it works. And the important thing to understand is when you start getting a convergence of norepinephrine, so that level of agitation, duration path outcome, acetylcholine, and dopamine, now you're starting to wire in the behaviors that make people really good at certain things. Now in a functional um, view of this, so not addiction, what this means is that for any of us, success in any endeavor is very closely related to how much focus we can bring to that endeavor. And the reward system, you start to realize, is entirely internal. No one's coming along and cramming dopamine in your ear or dripping it in your brain. It's all internal. And this starts to bring us into the kind of like discussion around mindsets. Because so my colleague Carol Dweck, who you know popularized this right, theme, growth, growth mindset, mindset. it's an, again a very misunderstood concept. It's the idea that we can change, so that's built into that. But the discovery of growth mindset was of these kids that actually really enjoyed doing problem sets that they knew they couldn't get right. But for them, they would get this like dopamine release from just focusing on the problem. They like doing puzzles they couldn't get right. It sounds crazy, but inevitably those kids are very good at puzzles and very good at math and these kinds of things. So growth mindset is, I believe, if a sort of a neuro neuroscience lens on growth mindset would be that the agitation and stress that you feel at the beginning of something and when you're trying to lean into it and you can't focus is just a recognized gate. You have to pass that through that gate to get to the focus component. And then if you can reward the effort process, you really start to feel joy and low levels of, of excitement in the effort process. That's that buffering of adrenaline. That's that feeling like, yes, I've got a lot of adrenaline in my system, but I'm on the right path. Mm. It feels good to walk up this hill, so mm -hmm. to speak. And when you start to bring that, those neural circuits together, you really start to create a whole set of circuits that are designed to be exported to any behavior you want. So if it's writing a book, great. If it's podcasting, great. If it's building a business, great. If it's, if it's you know, building a terrific relationship, great. Then the circuits that Mother Nature has designed are incredibly generic so that we could adapt to whatever it is that we need to do. And I think the misunderstanding around how these circuits work has led to this idea that there's some secret entry point, maybe marked flow on the door, mm -hmm. and there's a trampoline up to that door, and you just mm -hmm. open that door and you're going to be in it. Right. And yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. could be further from the truth.